Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun. Last, dang it, last time we fought Tret, and we learned he is powerless to try and save the world, which really sucks. This time, we're gonna see what we can find when we head up north, and immediately get into a bottle of zombies that really shouldn't pose any more threat to us. In fact, screw it, let's run away. Good, good. I should have brought some sacred feathers. That would have been very nice. At least for the areas where we could very clearly wreck every monster's face. I'm going to follow the path of no bridge on the right. Oh man. My rat, my skeletons, my everything. This also, once again, would have been a perfect opportunity to skip to skip a battle in editing. However, I talked over like an idiot. That's all I know how to do in my life. <laughs> Goodbye, rat soldiers. Goodbye, my wet fans. Synergy, synergy sucks to you sometimes. Oh, if we head this way, we'll find a secret cave, and uh-oh, what is that whiteness behind it? What is it? Bilbin Cave Entrance. Ooh. Very pointless path, it looks like. Also, a very razor straight edge. Uh, if we go up here... <laughs> a wiggle plant? Interesting. Definitely can't interact with that. Um, another <laughs> mudslide. There's been a lot of that crap. I think the implication being that we could have once upon a time gone this way and just gone through without going through the cave. However, oh, this building came. But! I know, this is crazy. Also, why isn't there a bridge here? There should be a bridge here. Um, this wiggle plant you can't interact with. Now, what synergy can we use on that one? Whirlwind, maybe? No. Um, this actually took me a while to figure out the first time I played. If you give Garrett uh, a fire. Oh, wait, actually, let's do that again so we can actually see what he gains. Oh, really? We can't actually see. Um, when we give Garrett a uh, Earthogen, he will gain Growth and Blast. Growth is actually a synergy you can use outside in the field. This the same thing would happen is if we gave Isaac Forge instead. Let me show that right now, which kind of makes more sense, doesn't it? See, Isaac has Growth. He lost move though. I missed. Do I missed? He has Growth on that little old guy. He grows a little vine. It's weird, but that's why I guess that's trying to push you to ex oh, man. I guess that's the game pushing you to like explore uh, training gin around but that is one of the very few moves you could actually gain actually I think that's the only move you really gain like outside of battle there's a crevice I think that's the first of many crevices we'll be seeing in this game the first one right cave as you check for all chairs got the elephant rapier Okay, <laughs> interesting. Uh, we haven't used, we haven't seen the unleash for that yet, have we? So this is a weapon that's awesome for Ivan, as you see, it boosts attack by ten, which is pretty nice. Everyone else just boosts it for a little bit. So we're actually gonna hold on to that for a few minutes until we see Ivan uh, release the magic wands here. In fact, we'll just keep attacking. Oh yeah, now that we're in a new cave, there's actually new things we can see. So we can see drone bees here, trolls, rat soldiers, and gnomes, all of which we've seen before. So it's like, whatevs, dog. Um, additionally though, we can see oozes, which each are level 9, they have 72 hit points, they drop 40 gold and 26 experience, they have a 6.25% chance to drop an herb, which you might, uh, get some, uh, herb drops here. I love when they attack, they turn to weird spike balls, it's weird. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Unleashed by, uh, Isaac, there, or Ivan, hey, nope. Well, no, no herb, look at that. Um, additionally, they could use, uh, Sticky Goo. Which is damage plus a chance of dropping defense by 12.5%, which as we saw, I used on Ivan there. Um, they also have Speed Surge, uh, which means that really they attempt to divide. Interesting. So they can actually multiply themselves. We go down here. This is the entrance cell there. So that's what that, that credit is there, just leads us back into the main cave. So, all right, time to explore Bilbin Cave. Also, where we got the Elven Rapier, remember that spot. It is very vague. But there's actually something else there much later in the game that is super easy to forget about, but is very helpful if you go and get. I think. I kind of don't remember very well, but. Wow. Um, that was a ghoul. <laughs> Isaac is now level 9 knight. Maximum HP up by 8. PB by 3. Attack by 3. Defense by 1. Agility by 4. 42 coin. Uh. Have, have, wait, have we seen ghouls? Uh oh. Oh, wait. Never mind. Okay. <coughs> I have a second page here. Wait, what? Have we seen ghouls already? Oh no. Oh no. 
Where's ghoul? Where a ghoul? I don't have ghoul written down. Why don't I have ghoul written down? Also, I totally meant to pull up the Golden Sun wiki. Uh, why don't I have ghoul written down? I'm an idiot. One second, everybody. You know, it really sucks, because I did a bunch of research when, um, when preparing to let's play this game. Multiple sources, I could not find that this guy was in here, and I knew he was, I just never, I guess I missed it. So anyways, ghouls are level 9, they have 9 hit points, they drop 20, 42 gold, 34, oh, there, there we go, actually, there's Hive and he's in the Magic Rod, and he stunned him. I didn't see what the release was called, but if you could read, I believe in you. So it stuns, which is actually very good. Um, but, I actually would much rather have an Elven Rapier. What kind of sucks to give it to him? The Magic Rod can't be equipped by anyone else. Um, yeah, I can't equip it. But, it'll still be very good. Unleash Vorpal Slash. Oh, actually, Unleash Stun Voltage. Very good, very good. Um, ghouls, they drop 42 gold and 34 experience points. They have a 6.25% chance to drop an Antidote. Um, also... They can uh, use Cannibal Fang in addition to just normal attacking. Also, a nice little hint there with the fire beside uh, Ice there to melt into Wada. Uh, there's more ghouls here, so we continue talking about them. Great. <laughs> uh, Alright, good. Fine. Use Flare Wall. See if I give a dog. Gosh, dog, diggity. Um, oh, actually, I should just normal attack with Fire again until we get that special attack. Uh. Yeah, they can use, in addition to, oh my god, oh don't you dare, oh my god, Cannibal Fang is what I was going to say, which heal, um, they can damage, and, as you can see, he recovered 25, 25, that's very scary actually, alright, I'm actually going to use the healing ring here because it's scary, good god, that hurt a lot, okay, good, phew, healing ring broke, there we go, I can show what that's about, Oh god, that guy was actually really scary. I was all level 9 once here. Max maximum HP by 7, PV by 3, attack by 3, defense by 1, jill by 4, 124 coin. 124 coin, yeah. Now that the healing ring is broken, we'll see that it is now. Can't use it. The use is gone. Go details. It's broken, so it can't be used. Uh, considering how much those guys actually sucked. Run by these pillars here. We see a chest up there with another torch beside a, a, some water. Mm, I wonder what that means. I kind of, what I kind of wish in this game is that it wasn't so obvious. Like, you could see the boards where you can move stuff. I wish it wasn't super obvious like that. I wish they kind of made it a little bit more subtle, but because that would that, make the puzzle more interesting to me. But there we go. So just push that beside the ice, melts it. Great, yada yada. You know what to do. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black. Let, let's 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 do this and then summon and kill these scrub lords immediately. Well, that kind of sucks. I no longer, I don't even know where the rest of the could appear. I do know the upcoming place they can appear. The upcoming couple places they could appear. But uh, besides that, I don't know how long they appear for. There you go. You guys are so screwed. Yes. One method to fighting bosses, a lot of people do use is uh, um, summon rushes, where they have all their Jin to stand by, and then they summon everything, and it kind of takes the fun out of boss battles, in my opinion, a lot of times, because you can defeat, you could actually do a huge chunk of damage to bosses just doing that. I'm going to chill off eventually. Also, that rock you see in the river in the background there, and the first rock um, where the wall starts, it looks like there's a face over ah! on it. <laughs> Here's the level 9 guard. That's my HP up by 9, PP by 3, attack by 4, defense by 2, agility by 4. And we got antidote. Good. Good. Uh, let's hear Ivan. Hear Ivan. Alright, what do we got in this chest? And you got a vial. Which is actually pretty helpful. Do we have anything else we haven't really used yet? Have we use sleep bombs? I don't think we have. We should try that out. Smoke bombs we probably use, right? Um. Files replenished 500 hit points, which is pretty nice. That is very helpful, pretty much rape right to the end of the game. Herbs, as you can imagine, get outclassed eventually, but those are actually pretty good. Wait, was there anything else we could see in there? There is, however, we could also see it out here, and we'll see it pretty quickly, I think. So, uh, and there they are, Maulers, so you can also see these in the building cave. Oh, we never got to use Mars, eh? Uh, so, Maulers are 
Interesting little wheel bears. They're level 9, they have 109 hit points, they drop 45 gold each, and 37 experience points each. They have a 3.125% chance to drop a nut. And um, besides normal attacking, they could also use Bear Claw, which they get the chance to because I freaking Shrek them, uh, which does a high attack damage. So now we're in the Winter Wonderland. Let's see, we've now essentially we've explored like this entire like third of the map, which is crazy. Just running through this game like gangbusters. Is that, is that, am I using that properly? I don't know. Come on, Ivan, use that special attack. I need you to do it, buddy boy. Baby born boy. I think I might buy a bunch of sacred feathers just for getting through areas we've been through before. I think that's a good idea, right? Because I think the going through an area for the first time, I don't think it's that bad. Have you used an oil drop yet? I don't think so. We might have. I think we might have seen that used earlier. Sleep bombs, I'm pretty sure we have not. Oops. Let's, let's try that, shall we? We only used that on one. Interesting. And smoke bomb, we probably use this. Let's, let's use it, though. That was a smoke bam. We've definitely seen that. It has no effect, lol. Oh, wow. That was pretty useful. Sleep bomb? Oh, man. I really want that to be effective. As you imagine, just put him to sleep. So there's at least the animation shown. <laughs> I'm probably not, not going to use that again. Items really don't, unless you're like really low in synergy, they're not really that helpful. Alright, so yeah, those are Maulers. Did I get to say the drop? Yes, I did. So! I'm ill, or I'm ill, as <laughs> some people call it. Uh, I need to have my notes out here. Alright, so let's uh, talk to somebody. Else. Hi, are you new to Mill? No, I'll be your friend. You don't look familiar. Are you sure you're not? Fibbing? <gasps> I would never! Hi, are you new in the middle? I should warn you, there's a bad cold going on right now trying to catch it. Oops. I don't know if I have this equipped yet. Actually, I'm pretty sure. I've had a lot of strangers recently. I wonder if they're going to Mercury Lighthouse 2. <gasps> going to A. Um, let's see what else we got here. Hey, it's Jack Strongman number 6, I think? 1, 2, 3, 4. I tend to stay indoors a lot when the weather turns cold. It's not good for your house, though, so I try to work out. Of course, it's working out. <laughs> Don't say Frankenstein. Have I said that before? I think I have. People get sick because they stay indoors all day, hiding from the cold. You have to keep in shape if you don't want to get sick. Hello, very suspicious snowman. Back to that in a moment. If you check. What is. What is. I'm freezing. Is Mia here yet? Oh, I think I know what's wrong here. Hold on. He's really stretched out. However, I think I gotta do something here. Uh, if you do that, there we go. You'll see him vibrating. <laughs> uh, did we over this yet? I don't think we did, did we? Maybe. Oh no, I'm forgetting. There we go. Night coins. One of the few things uh, we can actually find stuff in. Yeah, I don't know who Mia is. Mia should be here by now. Where is she? I don't know. And if you check this grave. Oh, man. There we go. You get grave rob and get a lucky medal. Awesome. I feel horrible for stealing from these graves. I can't find anything. It's weird that you can just do that. Also, I think these are supposed to be <clears throat> like shovels, like scoops to move snow. That's cool. Either that or a ch like a broken chair. I'll be like a shovel, right? the old couple who lives near the town of Entrance? Oh, that's too bad. That's where Mia was headed. You probably just missed her if you didn't see her along the way. Uh-oh. We might have just messed this up a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on a second here. Hold on a comp pick in seconds. Oh no, we actually could have came in here before Mia was in here. We could have seen a cutscene where this guy falls ill. We talked to him and like, oh, I'm feeling so sick. And they start vibrating, and then the old woman runs up to him, and then they tell us to fetch me up. Oh, I thought if we went to the Sanctum first, maybe something else would have happened. Oh, I'm sorry. How are you feeling? There's really no way to go back, since the last time I saved, I think, was was a while ago. Yeah, it was 15 minutes ago. Should I cut? I think I'm going to cut just to show it off. So I will BRB everybody. Oh man, this sucks. All right, three hours late. I'm just kidding. It took like five minutes. Do the power fast forwarding. There's been an epidemic going around Emil. We should leave right now if you don't want to catch it. He's running around town caring for the sick. I just don't want to be. I don't want to be any more trouble to him. Okay, so I was reminding this guy for a second. Oh, you can't. Oh, help me. 
Grandpa, Grandpa, no, Grandpa, Grandpa, hold on. It's weird that you call him that when there's no one else here. I know, like, parents, like, let's say your dad calls your mom mom as well, just not to confuse the child. But if there's no children here, it's kind of weird, you know? But maybe they just got used to it and they had children. So. Oh no, this is terrible. Get me a, please get me a, get me a hurry. Hey, I'm sure you'll be fine. He's always exaggerating things, but I don't think he's exaggerating. Oh. I don't feel so good. Oh my god, it's all high. So, that's essentially all I missed. And we can also loot the house and get an empty bottle! Yay! Zelda reference, kind of, but not really. There's nothing else in here, right? Mm, no. Alright. So, uh, that's what's in the first house. So, I'll, th that'll be fine. Maybe. <laughs> but the only inn that sees up in the winter, so a few guests. We have a few guests. So, we'll wait in your hand and foot. So, please. Stop. Winners are tough here. I'm glad to have guests to talk to you. I'm not going to give them the best service I can. Um, I believe this is a guest. Do you want to see the restaurant menu? Here you go. We're a small town, so the suction isn't great. Nah, I don't want to see it this time. Today's dinner is stew and rye bread. Sounds quite, quite a feast, huh? Wow. Aren't you happy? We don't get to eat many fancy meals in the winter. Tasty stew would be a real treat. Uh, if you come check this, Isaac looked in the oven. Got some lucky pepper. Is it in the oven? It's pitch dark inside? Oh, gross. Never... Yeah, interesting. Okay, boost luck. So, uh, I don't know who to give this to. I'm pretty sure luck is the chance that uh, when an enemy attacks, you'll dodge it. Because Ivan... Wow, by two. Because Ivan has such crap luck, or uh, such, like, crap, like, defense and health, I'm gonna give that to him. Why well, have two groups of travelers come through such heavy snows to the mill? First group is already set up somewhere. Huh, how very suspicious. There's so many customers, just goes to show you good things happen if you work hard. Oh, is that the reason? A few upstairs, there's nothing really here. I thought this was weird. I'm like, should there be a fireplace here? But no, it's it's the chimney from the fireplace, which would also give up off a bunch of keeps. So that's cool. There's no need for a second fireplace. Uh, item shop? Anything in here? Luma B, Luma Lop. Welcome to the item shop. Is there anything in here? Weapon shop? There's not. I'm sick, but I get you whatever you need. Welcome, we have just the gear you need. Uh, do I want to buy some of these? Let's buy a couple. And, uh, five, I suppose. Oh, wow. Oh, that's great. You can buy as many as you want, however. Yeah, it should be okay. Oh, you get game tickets from here. I didn't realize that. Get, 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 get game tickets. Um, we'll take that. We're not going to be using them a whole lot, but we'll might as well stock them in a bit. My dad has a lumberjack. He's working down south in Kalima. That's actually super cool, and a connection I never made before is the, the I'm pretty sure the guy who took the axe of tread um, that you talked to, uh, that you mind me in the inn, he said he was going to leave a day earlier, but he decided to stay, and um, yeah, that, I believe that's their father, this girl's father. I wonder if they headed to Mercury Lighthouse too, or if they're all heading. They'll never make it without Mia. Interesting, this is Mia. If you want to buy anything, please talk to my daughter. If only you had some kind of... Some of that mythical spring well, I thought he said, if only we had some kind of mythical spring well, like, wow, that's very specific. That fixes right up. Oh, I don't know about when I have nothing in any of those barrels or anything. No. Oh. oh no. Do you want some weapons? I got some weapons till I'm cured. Oh, I'm getting chills. Who are these people? They must be strong for coming to meal in winter. We're closed! Sorry, I get a little sick and cranky when I'm sick. It's sick and cranky. Oh, but I'm shop when I get bait, or... Why do they always come when I'm sick? <laughs> yeah. Things like that always happen at the worst time. Um, we're gonna finish seeing people here, and then we'll uh, continue with the quest here. And worry about that snowman. <coughs> the epidemic has hit almost everyone in mail. I'm sick too! <laughs> What would happen to us if we didn't have Mia? <laughs> Her palms shine with a blue light. Could she be an angel? Interesting. Is there anything here? No, there's not. Okay. I just made a note to mind read the old man. Although I have been mind reading everyone, there's only a few people over here. So this is why I mess up the first time. So to get Mia to actually show up, you have to talk to this girl. Have you seen the old couple who live in the entrance of the old town? Oh, that's too bad. That's where Mia was having. You probably just missed her if you didn't see her along the way. Sure didn't. Mia was saying she has a bad feeling about something. Could she have met these people? Yep, it's me. Surprise. You're looking for Mia? Mia just left. Nothing big never seen the village, so Mia's very busy. These folk are okay. They don't seem like bad people. How do you know? 
I'll have you know I killed a bear. A bear! <laughs> We're at 20 minutes here, but let's uh, let's do one more thing here before we end off the episode. Let's see, there's a chest up here, a very daunting looking chest. And no matter what tries you will, you will not be able to get through this ice maze here. So, as you can imagine, can I move that way? I can't. You have to use move on this snowman that just happens to be wearing a fez for some reason. <laughs> Which is that absolutely ridiculous. Uh, ooh, come on, move, child, move. And, uh, we gotta start the ice maze through here. We can slip and slide around. Just gotta kinda watch where you're going. You just kinda gotta bump to the rocks. Um, you can go up there. I don't wanna do that yet, though, I don't think. I think I'm gonna go down here first. Oh, crap. Oh, up here. There we go. Excellent. And we got this chest. The reason why I wanna do this first. Has it gone on a vial? Awesome. We're putting those up left. Uh, the reason why I want to do that first, I'm pretty sure the snowman actually resets once we go inside that uh, ice cave over there. There we go. Excellent chance. Yeah. See, if we didn't put him there, we would keep sliding to the right there and we would be able to get access to this. So if we go in here, <gasps> I mean the Falls Cave. So, this is. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, the Marginny Fever Joint Garrett. Ah, oh, finally we can attack. Rapaphone and Feverish Delusion. So, Fever, uh, he gives a HP boost of plus 8, attack boost of 3, and agility of plus 2. These are bases, by the way. These are never, like, set numbers. They change as you level. It's, like, it's, like, based on percentage, I believe. Um, he also gives Delusion effects. Uh, he does normal attack plus 30 damage. So that was very helpful. We'll have to try that next time. There's nothing else to do in here. We can't even move. We can only slide up into that rock directly and see that snowman disappeared. So that's why I did that chest. First. Although we might be able, we might have been able to get that chest without moving that. I'm not entirely sure. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. In the next episode, we'll go inside this house and see what Mia's doing. Meet this suspicious Mia. See what she's all about. I'll talk to you guys next time. Goodbye!